Today marks one year since Tennessee's abortion ban took effect. Roe v. Wade was overturned in late June. Six weeks later, the state began enforcing a trigger law criminalizing abortion in Tennessee. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 6. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilgus. News 2's Miranda Whittington spoke to a local doctor who shared how this ban has affected her and the care she's trying to provide for her patients. I didn't see this in my future at all. A future with no abortion protections is one Dr. Laura Andreessen is now living in. I remember going down to the Capitol to the press conference and just realizing the brevity of what was happening, that the care was truly being compromised. One year ago today, Tennessee officially enforced a trigger ban prohibiting abortions across the state. Our focus is on implementing that law. Um, it's a hopeful day in, in our country, I believe, as we protect the lives of the unborn. Andreessen works as an OBGYN in Franklin, where she sees ectopic pregnancies multiple times a week. I remember coming home the first day I had officially committed in a felony, and that's a really odd thing as a physician to realize that providing care to a patient for a condition that could ultimately kill them could lead to me being charged with a Class C felony. The law is terrible and it puts patients' health at risk. CEO of Planned Parenthood of Tennessee and North Mississippi, Ashley Caulfield, says over the past year, they spent close to $100,000 providing financial assistance to nearly 600 people trying to get an abortion out of state. We are focusing on advocacy and activism like we never have before. And people have really stepped up to support us and our allies in the fight. Governor Lee did sign a narrow exemption in place helping doctors. It's the most vulnerable the unborn are. They, they deserve that protection and the law gives them that. But despite the exemption in place, Andreessen still worries about her and her patient's future here in Tennessee. It's just not a good way to practice medicine and ultimately it will lead to the state of Tennessee and all the other states with bans having fewer and fewer obstetricians to care for their population. The exemption Governor Lee signed back in April allows doctors to use reasonable medical judgment when determining if an abortion is necessary. Andreessen says she's grateful for the exemption but says it can still be improved. Bob.